Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business okay. with Finn, yeah? I okay. appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Favor like that comes with a cost. Of course. Just don't go asking for my rations. Food mm -hmm. is not negotiable. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. That's a nice view. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. That dude better quit his shit. I won't fuck around and save him. I, I didn't die. have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon as see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Agreed. You guys put your differences Finn. aside, but that guy's a dick. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Well, people might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes too. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. It's alright to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. <laughs> I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend.
Hmm, I'll be friends with him now, because he's gonna need him. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, here we go. the Make Night's vows. Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. I'm gonna get my ass up here quickly. You think the bitch runs? Weird looking tree. Hear my, my words, words and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers. And, and now, now my, my watch, watch begins. begins. It, it shall, shall not end until my death. death. I, I, shall I shall take no wife, no wife hold, no, hold lands, no lands, father no, father no children. children. I shall I wear, shall no, wear crowns no crowns and win, and win no, glory. no glory. I shall live, I shall live and, die and die at my post. My I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. You rise as men. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Weird garage. tree, man. We're men of the Watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Hmm? Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? <laughs> that looks like, um... Yeah, Don't forget to practice, yeah, Sorge. Yeah. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house... I survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling I am wrath. That's why I'm really here. Hmm? You getting an army? Do Not you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. 
I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected <laughs> citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Get the tree. I used to be frightened of where with trees. Well, before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick, too. I wonder. Yeah. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Hear the werewoods whisper. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. Open it. No idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. No, you go there. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. It looks like it belongs there. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, oh. Garrett!
I don't know. Probably like little, little shards. Not to never lift one of those again. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall? Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. I'm fucking nosy. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. I won't stop you, Sarah. But I won't make excuses for you either. I don't know how many more chances I'll get. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. What are you doing here? I oh, know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I, I just needed to warn you. What? I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? Anyway, he'll never show up again to tell them. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. 
There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have oh. where... You really can't trust anyone. And I've given the musicians thing. a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. Clearly, she still hasn't learned respect for the crown. You won't like that so much when you're the one wearing it. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah? What do you know of this? I couldn't say, my lady. She's as much a mystery to me as she is to you. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Hmm. Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Hmm. Huh. Now what the fuck do I do? People marching. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. 
They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. Crazy motherfuckers. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. Cool. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, oh, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? Get your men out of my sight! This is absurd! That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. The fuck's going on there? Griff Whitehill, that snot nosed fourth born, parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord, but this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them.
We need to look at all the pieces. White Hill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. You kill him, they'll kill him. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You need to get him at High Point first. You can't close, forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, he can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Exactly. Then it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord? There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Yeah. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. You don't need any more fucking people Handle knowing. things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time Let's comes. Let's see. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed 
<clears throat> a royal decree sits on my desk now, and I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. Thank you for telling me, Lord Tyrion. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. So this is how he's helping your family? A royal decree. You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. I made a deal with him. For the crown to buy my family's ironwood. Think of how this will look. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. Garrett, easy now. Sorry, I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the Wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errol Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. Oh, it can't be. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing This one to the Boltons. Here. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. We'll be practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Talk all you like. You'll be dead before you take the black. Careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. I'm gonna trip that motherfucker off the wall. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. 
I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. It can't be that bad. I stayed with her when Tyrion tried to talk to me. I said everything right. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels. You're being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Oh. Oh. Seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest Ironwood from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds, but what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Don't touch him! Don't touch him! The fuck happened? What happened? Joffrey's oh, no, no, no. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. 
I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira? I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Hmm. Shit got real. What do you expect? <gasps> Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof. Be a spider drop down onto the outside problem. terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You, don't move. Tom, it's me, hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost my footing. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said already. that it would be on his desk. Mira, we're running out of time. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh, another bloody letter. Tyrion Strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister guard is back. No oh, fuck. No, it's the other one. Damn it! Hide! I'll find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Some damn keys. Open the lockbox. You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. 
I'll put you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Come on, stop talking. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! Bloody neck. Hey, you burn that fucking decree. We're not far now. The Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. What? It's the Whitehills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. It's all gone. There's nothing but stumps. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. You see what her family's done here? Crazy. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Keep it. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. I don't think it's a trap. It's not enough to take our wood. It must defile our homes. Forgive me. I... I wasn't sure what I'd find out here. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. Bitch, why you got a dagger? And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Soon, there will be nothing left to save. I hope you come with help, Gwyn. And I hope you'll listen to me. I come as a friend. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. But it will only lead to more killing. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me to bring an end to this war? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. 
I'm not afraid of some petulant fourthborn. You should be, because there's a very dangerous fourthborn in your house right now. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know, but whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Oh, shit. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. You must tell me, who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even what? if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Hmm. Lord? Come along, Duncan. That's crazy. So they want me to start shit and try to kill them. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans. But I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Or would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? I have to keep the peace with Griff. Even if that means letting him have his way at times. The thought of it makes me ill. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. Enough with the mysteries, my son. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard, but I never thought this would happen. I don't know. There's no way to be sure. If we don't know, then we can't trust anyone. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there. Go and get in there. Go on. Get in there. Get in there. You do what you're told. Please, I'll just leave it all. I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't know where. Stay close. Stay outside. Get down there. Get down there. Get off again. Get down there and die like a good man. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> no, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was I'll here. I'll play it how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. 
I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you lot. What is this? What are you bastards doing? Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house, right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before, but um, it gets better every time. Stop this, or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favorite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello <laughs> to your father. Oh, no, he's <laughs> <laughs> Down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real eater. Oh, better than the real eater. What about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> I'd be happy. To dirty my blade with your blood. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Come Make on, his that's mother no watch. Now we we'll really have some fun. Enough. Griff will deal with him when he's done. He'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Britt's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'm a ranger now. I've left my past behind me, Brit included. Until you're standing next to him with a sword in your hand. That's the real test. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. Oh no, fuck my button. I can't promise you that. I understand. I'd say the same if you asked me to swear allegiance to a bloody fray. If you're willing to come, just stay out of each other's way. Aye. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well, make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, 
He doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. I did try. And you said he was just visiting. But I think there's more to it than that, isn't there? I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth. It's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> How could I? Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksall. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove they don't. Mm -hmm. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there. In the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Potter, you're the bloody enemy. How am I supposed to trust you now? I'm not your enemy, Garrid. I'm your friend. Or at least I thought I was. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean, I know it's a lot to take in, and I'd understand if you were angry. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. I'll go with them.
Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You all right? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need...